Virat Kohli plays a lot of cover drives. Like a lot. A lot, a lot. And he's not doing it through ego or because he thinks they make you unhappy personally. He plays this shot because he's very good at it and also because he thinks it helps him as a batter. And by good at it, I mean he, it is his second most productive shot in test match cricket. Daylight is third. And despite playing 345 attempted cover drives in the last five years, he's managed to only be dismissed by them eight times while averaging over 60 and scoring at nearly 1.5 runs per ball. His off drive and square drive numbers are also quite high. This is a productive shot for him, a productive area. And he played it again today. Many wanted him to stop, but this is one of his shots against pace and it has tactical advantages for him. Coley plays the drives on the offside to punish bowlers in the channel so that they can't nag away at him. Every single test player has a way of dealing with that ball. And essentially your entire success really comes from how you play it. If you look at the Fab Four, they all play it in different areas. Williamson opens the face and runs it fine. Root pushes it around point to find ones. Smith moves across the stumps and tweaks it to the leg side. And Coley goes through covers. There is no one ideal method. It's just really about getting off strike and scoring off a very difficult ball. And all of these four players can play the cover drive. In fact, there are very few right-handers who can't play it. Hello, Dom Sibley, if you're watching. It's actually the second highest run scoring shot for all four of the Fab Four. But Root only plays the cover drive 13% of the time, where the other guys are up around 20%. And Root also doesn't play the off drive, and neither does Smith. Only Williamson is like Coley, and he has the three of the offside drives available to him. Which makes sense, as Coley and Williamson are classical type batters. Whereas Root plays off the back foot, and Smith is just, you know, weird as hell. But even though Williamson is of a similar style, Coley still plays a slightly higher percentage of offside drives than he does. But the difference between these two is not so much the offside drives, but what they do in defense. Coley will push at the ball in defense. Williamson's hands are soft and Coley's are quite hard. That's because Coley is defending, but still looking for runs. And Williamson is just looking to dead bat the ball. Whether Coley drives or defends, his way of taking on cricket's most delivered ball is through positive intent. It's what has got him this incredible record in test match cricket. And this isn't wrong. Playing the way he does changes the bowler's line and or length, it's likely to change the field, and it's playing to his strength the same way that the other three are. The idea that Coley would stop cover driving in the series, a shot that hasn't actually yet dismissed him in this summer, is very interesting. He's been out off driving, but that was from a ridiculously good delivery from Anderson, as you can see. And I'd argue he's been out a couple of times trying to push the ball into the gap on the offside. But mostly he's been out defending, trying to cover balls around that channel area, going hard at them, trying to get bat on ball, and often just edging incredible test deliveries. England have bowled so brilliantly well on helpful surfaces. They've also spent a lot of time with the wobble ball and moving the ball back in, meaning players are feeling like they have to play at balls because their off stump is always in jeopardy. And I am losing my voice from saying this, but batting in test cricket is harder than it has been in a hundred years especially more so with pace. These guys are being dismissed by skilled bowlers assisted by analysts on spicy pitches with some help from wobble balls. Batting is just tough right now. And let's also talk about this whole Virat Kohli cover drive situation. A lot of this comes from Sachin Tendulkar and the famous test where he played at the SCG and he didn't play a cover drive all the way through an innings of 241. But all players are different. Tendulkar's cover drive was an attacking run scoring shot, but it wasn't really part of him playing the channel ball just outside off stump. When he wanted to play that ball, he would either move across the stump and whip it to the leg side, or he would play dead straight drives. For him, he could take the cover drive out because it wasn't part of his defensive mechanism. And even then, he did it once, kind of randomly when he made a decision on the field, on a very, very flat SCG pitch against an Australian tack without its best bowlers. Coley is facing Anderson on green pitches in England. Different bowler, different batter, different pitches, different country, different, different, different. But the thing is that Vera Coley actually has changed his technique a little bit during the summer. After Headingley, he clearly hit the nets and went and changed his technique. And it's not really about cover drives. What he's really done is changed where his off stump is, where his trigger movements are. On the left is him at Headingley, and on the right is him at the oval. Look at the stumps here. He has clearly moved over, and it's even more evident when he takes his first step. The off stump has now disappeared, but you can see leg. And when he finishes the shot, you can see his head, which is also way more in line with the ball. 
It is not easy to change your technique mid-series. We talk about it all the time, but you gotta remember that the technique that he brought in is the technique that works for him. It's a technique that has made him an incredible player around the world. Making any changes, especially midway through a series, is really tough. Quite often it goes horribly wrong. In this case, he's doing it between back-to-back -back test matches as well. There just weren't a lot of days in. He had to commit to this, and then he had to learn it, and then he had to make it feel natural, otherwise he wouldn't have been able to do it on the pitch. As for the cover drive, yeah, well, he played four of them today and none of them were involved with him being dropped or dismissed. It's quite clear from the pitch map that he chose to hit from the right lengths and he played the shot very well, which looking at his overall average over the last five years would suggest that he quite often does that. Virat Kohli is a very good cover driver. The only reason really for Virat Kohli to stop playing the cover drive is, you know, to shut people up who are moaning about it.